do this to make your partner feel really good. I mean, you do this for yourself as well. It's not just like trying to manipulate the other person's emotions, but there are a few things, a few core values that we can anchor in the core of our relating. Mm -hmm. And uh, they might be feel good triggers, you know, they might, they might be elements that really bring flavors and their mm -hmm. core values and qualities that anchor light, yeah. frequency, harmony, beauty, in the core of what, what you exchange. Yeah, you can consciously choose to embody a certain quality that is then going to um, <clears throat> contribute to your partner feeling good and to you and your partner being in harmony. We get to choose. And so we wanted to talk some about some of the qualities you can choose that will really enhance that feeling of harmony. And yeah. The first one that strikes me is really kindness. Like I saw you doing a few things lately that are really coming out of kindness. Mm. Do you remember what those are? Like what kind of things did you do that were really, really kind? Well, you said this morning a particular way I was communicating with you, um, like where the energy in my communication is really soft and kind. Yeah. Um, what else? What's coming to mind for you? Well, this morning I just took a shower and she came around me and started drying my body. Oh, you started yeah. drying my body, you know, in a very kind and soft yeah. way, just taking time, um, you know, expression of kindness. Yeah. Um, yeah, the other day I also you, you took off from this place and you just left a message, I'm going to get us some chocolate, mm. you know, and you took off and just yeah. seeing that little message there is an expression of kindness and, it's and so love. so sweet. Yeah. It's so sweet how much my kindness touches you. You do kind things all, he's like never not kind. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's why it's like, I'm more, you, you're, you're, it's kind of true. Like he does kind things all the time. Like Aww. gives me flowers, or you know, like that he picks up out of the garden, or <laughs> you know, makes me breakfast, and mm. it's just super sweet all the time. So kindness, yeah. Yeah, kindness, care. Um, you know, another one that we have been uh, discovering is transparency. Mm, you know, yeah. the art of just being able to have any conversation and be yes. completely transparent with each other. Yeah, that yeah, works really transparency, well. and it kind of comes with this energy of openness and availability of like, yeah, here I am. I'm fully here. I'm fully expressing what's real. Um, it's kind of a dropped in quality. Usually it's like comes in conversations, mm -hmm. but there's, yeah, there's a real desire in that transparency to just let you see me or let me see you. And there's a level of like deep bond that comes from that. Not trying to get anything, not trying to make the person understand, like no agenda, just fully unveiled of here's who I am, here's mm. who you are. There's something that's really special that comes from that. Yeah, beautiful. Another one is a uh, presence, mm. right? Imagine that you're standing in front of somebody and you're having a, a drink or simply, for instance, having sex or, you know, making something, doing something together and the person is looking at you straight in the eyes mm. and you feel like their attention is completely undivided, that it's mm -hmm. completely present. There is no playing on the cell phone or playing on computer games or right. getting distracted by stuff that is happening around. <clears throat> it's really somebody who is right there breathing slowly with you and, and in that presence is, is a very honoring, yeah, yeah it comes a very honoring Love moment. That. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Presence feels really good. Yeah. Um, respect. Yeah, respect is good. Respect. <laughs> respect, respect makes was, people happy. <laughs> yeah, respect in the same level. Yeah. Sense as, a, as, as kindness. Do we have more? Yeah, there is more of them. Um, um, enthusiasm. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, enthusiasm. enthusiasm. You know, if I suggest something that feels like a good idea, like take off to the beach for. I want this woman to be like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. You know, like go with the flow, be a yes person rather than a, yes. well, I'm not sure, you know, uh, you yeah. know, like negative beliefs or, or patterns that would hold back that, that positive energy. Yes. Yeah. Consideration. I like oh, that one. Consideration is a very important one. <clears throat> um, how does it look like? Um, Yeah, it's tricky because it's also navigating, you navigate what's most, I need to navigate and always be um, acting and being from a place that's most true. But um, in 
a couple, sometimes what sometimes what's in alignment with most true is how like considering how is how is this action going to impact my partner and um so some specific examples of consideration well i don't know i think people maybe know what consideration is it's just like acting from a place that i know this is going to feel good to him too and it's not Manip again, it's kind of tricky because it's not manipulating myself to try to make him feel good, but it's just holding him in my decision process, holding um, holding our couple in that in my decision process. So actually, for example, I have a good example. Mm -hmm. I am going to be moving into a new house, and I know that this move is going to impact him and I just for particular reasons, um, and so. I knew that I was going to move. That felt like a yes. But my consideration process was to text him and be like, hey, I have this big decision, this big thing that's going to happen for me. I'm going to move. I want to sit down and talk to you about it. Rather than the other option could have been, hey, I'm moving. Here's what's happening. And you don't get to be part of that process at all. Like the decision is still made, but the way I approached him about it was really considering, okay, this is going to impact him and let's Let's talk about it. So. Mm, yeah, I felt lots of kindness again from, yeah. from you in that in that situation because yeah. it was not something that was harsh in the decision. It was more like, yeah, I, this, this is this is what's happening, and I know that it's going to influence our dynamics in some way. So here it is. The same when you take decisions for trips or mm -hmm. big life decisions, considering your your career, for instance, or you know other people becoming uh, an essential part of your life you know like uh, parents or family members coming for a visit or mm -hmm. you know things like that and uh, especially for instance when it comes to planning a week you know it's like imagine that you have a few appointments or a few dates in the week with different people then um you know, the idea of, uh, of checking in with the other person and being mm -hmm. like, well, here's what's happening. I might be available on Wednesday mm -hmm. and on Thursday, but on Tuesday I have something going on there. So I, I consider you in my choices because I'm, I'm telling you what's going on for me rather than letting you in, uh, you know, in the vague and in the, in the mist. Mm -hmm. So this consideration is a very important one. Um, Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you get the picture. The idea is that you can, you know, we have been talking a lot about shadows and challenges and uh, diving deep into, uh, the, you know, those, those challenges together. And uh, the idea of consciously creating light vibration and developing the light body of your couple or relationship is an essential tool. It's an essential aspect. How do you sustain harmony? What do you do to actually anchor core light values in the core of how you relate what are the things that are going to stabilize and create safety you know and so it's very important to to know that you can consciously design what happens yes. in in your couple or in your relationship so that's the message for now those are only a, a fraction of what's available there is probably a list of hundreds of possible things that you can do to anchor lightness and beauty mm -hmm. in, in your couple mm -hmm. how does it feel mm, that's good you see, we are in light frequency right now. Yeah. That's how it feels like. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Mm, bye.